<clears throat> Welcome everyone to the Everything Show. I am your host, Matrix Lord Two One Two, and I'm with Jay. What's up, Jay? Hey. All right. So you saw Supergirl, you said. Yes, I so loved it. You loved it. Okay, so tell us, yeah. tell us about it. It looks like that. Uh, I think the way it's going, the way I'm watching it, I think the uh, Supergirl's sister's fiance is fixing to leave the show permanently. Yeah, the, before I think they're going to break up because she wants to have kids, but her her uh, fiance doesn't. Yeah, at the at the end of last season, you know, of course they got approved for a new season. Mm -hmm. The actress that plays Maggie had informed because they were going to promote her to series regular, where she was going to appear every episode. Mm -hmm. And she contacted them and she said, look, um, I appreciate the promotion, but mm -hmm. I actually want a demotion like, because I want to do other things right. and I don't want to get tied where I'm stuck here as a job every, every single episode. So if you got to let me appear free, like, you know, sporadically or not at all mm -hmm. that's fine because she wants to do other things she doesn't want to get she doesn't want to commit to that so they said well that means that we got to create some type of storyline where they either break up or whatever because yeah. she doesn't want to stick around and it's kind of hard for them to be married and she's never on air so that's right so she told so this is bit this is why they created the storyline um, so either she's going to die or they're going to break up or something. And it's only because, yeah, because she's been on every episode so far. Right. And, and she can't, she doesn't really want that. So, yeah. so that they're going to do something dramatic. I'm thinking she's going to die. That's what I'm thinking yeah. because, yeah. you know, it, the problem I have is yes, I know each character should have a little subplot, whatever, but while they're promoting Maggie and Alex, they are not promoting Jimmy Olsen and the right. other guy. And now, how could you explain that this whole season so far, Jimmy Olsen did not suit up as the superhero that he is nope. for no reason. He just, you're like, you want to fight crime now? Let's go bold. What's going on all of a sudden? There's no way to explain it. They're just throwing it with a one-way line because yeah. they're giving the airtime to – Alex and, and, and Maggie. And yep. the thing is that I'm mad about it because this is Supergirl. This is not supporting characters show. That's right. And they, they kind of lost me with the opener this season. Mm -hmm. I thought that episode two should have been the opener, not episode one. Episode right. one was just stupid that she wants to grow up being Supergirl because her boyfriend has gone. I mean, that was just dumb. And then we've had up and down. So the first episode mm -hmm. was downer. Second episode was a great episode. You know, right. then we had, I mean, then it's been back and forth. I mean, the, the one with Psy, the, the psychic powers lady, was great. And then the Martian mm. one was great. This last yeah. one, I kind of found that it wasn't that, you know, I don't know. It wasn't my cup of tea. And another problem I have is that <clears throat> most of the time they're giving her female villains because – She's a female hero, and that doesn't make sense. But the only reason they're doing it is because the people who are writing for it, they're gay, and they're writing the show like it's gay. And I don't like and they that. Hate, I, I, and they hate that the gay couple is breaking up. Right. But the thing is that if you are <coughs> gay and you are a writer, you don't have to, <clears throat> you don't have to make your beliefs – Imposed on everybody else. You're writing Supergirl. Write Supergirl. That's write right. about her. Write about. I mean, when they did about her claustrophobia, that was great. Oh my God, I didn't know she was claustrophobic. That was great. But when they're, they're making every single damn episode like they're teasing, oh, now that Supergirl's alone, will she become gay? Will she? Will she hook up with uh, the Luthor? Like you know, and it's like, come on. And it's like, mm. you know, how? And all of a sudden, she's friends, and she's only hanging out with women. What about her best friggin' friends, Jimmy Olsen and the other guy? Like what that when we had this last episode just appeared, when she right. hung out with them for a little bit, I was like, this is great. This is like season one. This is like, okay, good old times. Jimmy Olsen, you know, Kara and I keep forgetting the other guy's name, but like they were together, you know, and that that felt real with this whole thing right. where she's with uh, Luther and then she's hit with this girl which she don't even know and 
then she just welcomes her in her home like she don't even know who the hell she is and it's just like now she's part of the group and it's like well what the hell is that you know like i don't like that because it's like you know and then when they have villains that are males they're stupid like yeah. the guy that's like the priest is a dumb guy and it's like oh, why can't we have intellectual villains that are male why are you bashing the male yeah, race in. but this is what this is why the show would get canceled if they keep doing oh, this crap. It's fixing to be canceled, my friend, because uh, I just read a thing on Facebook, an article saying that Supergirl has went down just not this week, but past week. 14%. Oh, yeah. 14%. Listen, get what they need to do is they need to bring. And again, if anybody remembers Supergirl, her sister was not gay in season mm -hmm. one. Okay, yep. her sister was falling for that guy Maxwell Lord. Yes, and that was great until they screwed it up. Yep, and they changed it. And you don't just change it where like, oh yeah, now she's gay. And she's always was gay. That's that, that's not believable. Even in the the gay and lesbian community, it's not believable. Right. They could just be like snap a thing and you're gay all of a sudden. So now my thing is, well, are they going to turn this girl that has a daughter gay? Because mm -hmm. they don't talk about men and they don't say anything about her sexual preference. So, I mean, she's just going to be part of the gay club too now? I yep. mean, I don't like well, that's that. N that's nothing. There's a rumor that uh, Cara and her sister Alex goes home to see their mother. And when they open the door, her mother is having sex or kissing another woman. See, this is ridiculous. This is just absurd. Like, this is not what happens in the comics. This is not like, this is someone's agenda that you got to separate what you like. Like if you're writing, let's say about a mass murderer, you're not a mass murderer, but you're able to write mm -hmm. different things because you're writing different characters. These guys that are writing for Supergirl, they're putting their stuff into, they got to just write without themselves in mind. That's very easy. I mean, yes. Russell T. Davis for Doctor Who, he, he wrote for Doctor Who, and while he was a gay man, he didn't have that stuff like the gay stuff all the time. Right. And, you know, once in a while there was a few things, but you know, which pissed some people off. But other than that, it's like he just did his own thing, and that's it. You can't just possibly, possibly push this on people. The reason why is because there was not a lot of gay people in the production, but now it is. But the show is is now it's it's being mocked because it's like oh, oh no. wow this isn't you can't take it seriously because this is just the fact that they have so many women in the damn show because this is ridiculous even with Supergirl like she why doesn't she have male villains that are smart yeah. like when they had the guy play Cyborg Superman that was stupid and the guy was stupid they even treated the father. That her adopted father, like he was stupid. I know. Like they're all the men are stupid, and I'm like, well, what the hell is that about? You know, and I I'm not enjoying it as much as I used to because I'm like, there's an agenda here, and it's very apparent. You know, and and you you, you want to watch her and Monel or her and her friends, and and it's become you know now it's the girl squad all of a sudden. It's like power right. I mean, like that. It's just like women, 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 women. I mean, like what the hell? Where are the men? Not all men are stupid, and I don't like what that's been going on. Like the woman's a president, the the secret. This one's a president. This is they're all women are all in charge. It's ridiculous. Well, it's fixing to happen on uh, Madam Secretary. They're going to have a, a gay person in the office. And I don't mind having gay people, but stop. Like just because but it's a every show, you don't have to have it every show. There was know. never gays in Star Trek. I mean, I don't Trek. see that now, in Arrow. Now there's gays in Star Trek. Arrow, I mean, it's, I mean, look, it, it, the guy's gay, but it's like, they're not like obsessing with, you know, I don't know. I just, I, all I know is that Supergirl was going downhill and they need to fix right. it and they need to stop like changing this, like just turn it the way it's supposed to be. Like stop. And 10 to 1, 10 to 1, the new Quantum Leap movie. It, uh, Sam will be Samantha. I hope not. Oh, you know it is. I Both of them will be women. So, um, I want with Supergirl. I want her either. I I want something drastic. Actually, 
I'm right. thinking what I would do is because right now I feel that the show is too like I don't like the whole oh Cat Grant sells Capco. When when would she do that? That's stupid. And then Lana, and, then, and then the Luther buys it and then because that's her friend's favorite place and then she's working there and it's like they still didn't resolve the whole Jimmy Olsen and her thing because they were kind of fighting for a little bit. And now she's like, you know, Kyra's like, oh, well, my friend, best friend owns a company, so I could do whatever if I want. If they hadn't to. moved up to, uh, if the production hadn't moved up to Canada, Cat Grant would still be there. Yeah, I know. So I think that they need to have her. I would create a storyline where I would have her depowered. Mm-hmm. Something happens that they can't. And again, I don't like also the things that they solve everything. There's got to be right. some stuff that nobody solves. Like they mm-hmm. just are not that smart to solve. Like they don't know what's causing it. Or it takes it. them a long time to yeah, solve. Yeah, I don't. I don't like it that they could just solve everything. So because it was like with Smallville, uh, they introduced something wrong, and it took them the entire season to figure it out. I would introduce a storyline where she come. <laughs> she comes to Earth. Arrows, you know, the arrows, mm-hmm. the yeah. flash and all that. And she's infected with something that she can't return to her world or she'll die. Right. And also, because of this thing that's in her, she is depowered, where, Ooh. you know, she is vulnerable. And because the reason why I would create this storyline is because I want. I would love to see her in Flash. No, 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 no. I would do this purposely for her to be an arrow. Arrow. Period. Because I want to build up the energy with her and Oliver where he is trying, she has to stay with him because he can protect her. Like, Flash is always doing whatever. So I want to build up their friendship like that, where she's a mainstay in Arrow. Yeah. Let's say six episodes. Um, or all season. No, I don't want to do it too, because, you know, even she still has her own show. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But it's got to connect with her show. So for six episodes of her episodes and six episodes of Oliver's, you know, like she's in his universe and then she goes back there. But I just want to build that where they have a connection. Like well, friendship if she like. was gone for a full season, we'd see a full season of possibly um, Jimmy Olsen's uh, superhero character. Yeah, and I think that that's totally abandoned now. I don't think he's. I yeah. think that they're. I just don't not, think he's going to be back uh, 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 suiting up anymore because uh, this week he said you want to do some crime fighting and right. That's why he wants to go bowling. Yeah. Except, nah. I think what's going to happen? They're going to explain something. He's going to get hurt, and then he can't do it anymore. Yeah. I think that's because they can't just explain a way that he doesn't want to do it anymore. I mean. That doesn't make any sense. They've been building up all how he needs to be a hero. Now he's bored. I would he's love to see a Nightwing. TV series. I think they're hinting at Batman first because they because um, Arrow brought up Batman a couple weeks ago, and it's yeah. like, oh wow, he exists in that universe. You never knew that before. Well, so now- the the exec producer Gotham said, no, that is Arrow. This is Batman. We are not going to say that. that but is that's different. The Gotham universe. is an alternate reality, and they yeah. could have their own. Batman. But I like the reality. I love Gotham. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. But it's it, it, Gotham kind of reminds me of Smallville because I don't think he's going to be in the suit until the very last season. Yeah, that's basically the way they're going to end it, probably. Because what are they going to do? Uh, the the season finale, he goes off to, uh, to train to uh, to become Batman, and then the season premiere, he's he's well, twenty years older. No, and what he's I would in do, the Batman suit. No, what I would That's do wrong. is I would I would have him become Batman, like towards the end, give the show end the show, Gotham. Bring it back in like two years where he's Batman already and mm-hmm. have those characters interact with him. So it's like another, it's it's like just Batman, you know, whatever, but it's, it's Gotham City characters. But we you know? never really saw him uh, train. But I don't, I don't, I wouldn't show any, that. In I, any I, variation. And I would yeah. love to see that. I, well, they did show that in uh, Batman Begins movie. 
But I, I wouldn't very want. Short, I, very short one. Yeah, I wouldn't want them to show it because then it's like you know you don't know I would if the actor at least one season or a yeah. couple of episodes of him training to become Batman. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm all for a um a Batman show, you yeah. know. But it's supposed know. to be a Batgirl show. Uh, show. Well, Batgirl movie is going to be with Josh Sweet. But oh, Bat oh Batgirl yeah. movie. I, I, I love I, the Birds of Prey TV show. I wish that had stayed on. Mm. Maybe now, they can bring that back. I don't know. Now with uh, with the I Flash, would love to see that back. the Flash. I think people are not used to. They're always thinking speedster, speedster villains, and now that he's dealing with regular villains. I think they're getting a little yeah. bit shocked, um, which I'm sure they're going to bring back a speedster villain soon. I think the reverse flash, a new reverse flash, comes into the crossover, you know, and he looks like HR or whatever, you know. Yeah. You know. Well, the the ratings for last week, not this week, and not this last one, but the other one, it went up two points. A flash. Yeah. Arrow's been good too, the ratings, isn't it, right? I think that's been good stuff. Uh, haven't, I don't really watch Arrow that much. I, I like it tomorrow. I just can't get into it lately. I, don't know I saw the first season and the second season started. And I went, what? And so I yeah. just stopped. Yeah, I'm just not with it lately without. But, and then we got a new show called Black Lightning, which I don't even know if I'm going to watch that. That's just, there's nothing in there appealing about it to yeah. me. Now with Dynasty, I love with Dynasty. I love the new re revamp. I right. love it. Okay. I just wish they could have used the house, the old house, but it caught fire or something. Oh, it did. Yeah, something like something happened. Everything old is new again. The only thing is sometimes they do it wrong, and uh, this whole. Did you see the new Batman uh, cartoon movie? Uh, with uh, Adam West, William Shatner, Burt Ward. Didn't see that one yet. That's the last Ooh, one that Adam West done. It. Yeah. it was good. Really? And mm. the woman that played Aunt Harriet sounded like the real actress that, that did it. Wow. I mean, she sounded 100%. Did you ever see Star Trek Continues? Yes. I'm a big fan. Okay, I love Star Trek Continues. And they're doing the final oh. one now. I'm yeah. so upset that that's happening. <laughs> so upset that uh, that's happening. They said that they're uh, doing something else. Uh, something called a time... What was it called? Oh, they're going to do another thing? No? Yeah, it's on their Facebook page. Oh, yeah? And they said that they were considering doing something else, and it's called a time... A time with us or something. A time something. And I gotta look at that. This is at the end. I have some ideas. Kind of sounds like a uh, a murder mystery or, or something. Would all but but them. You know. I, I would love to see. I wish they could do a um, a Star Trek the Motion Picture series of mm -hmm. just a couple of episodes from the movie. Because right. I love the comic books that uh, that was with the uh, TMP. I loved mm. it. Why don't they do, because the actress that plays with the counselor, right, in Star Trek Continues, mm -hmm. she dressed yeah. up like Jeannie from I Dream of Jeannie, and she looked exact. Oh, yeah. Why don't Jeannie. they do, why don't they do I Dream of Jeannie? Yeah. In like, like films like that where... Um, the guy that plays Captain Kirk, he could he could be you know Genie's um, what's his name? The, uh, Tony Nelson. Yeah, he could play him. He could play the master. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then they and can the get doctor, every... the doctor on uh, Star Trek Continues looks like uh, uh, Major Healy, so uh, he could play Major Healy. Yeah, mm -hmm. that would work out, and then they could add some characters yeah. in there or something. You know? Well, there was, I don't, I think it was a fan uh, concept of them doing TJ Hooker. Oh, wow. That would be good. If you're not thinking of permission, <laughs> that would be cool. Yeah, yeah. So, I would like to see them do other things, though. 
Yeah, me this too. could open up the door for all the things for them to do. You know, uh, I wish Star Trek uh, would release their decision about the fan films so they could continue it because Star Trek they can't uh, because of that is a hit. They can't because of that that thing with um, Xanatar that they broke every rule there is, and they're the reason why there's no Star Trek continues anymore. Because of that thing, they made a business out of it, and they're not supposed to make money off of it. And they did, and that's well, why not, we well, got, not continues. Uh, it was um, uh, no Xanatar was the one that caused continues not XNR? to continue. Yeah, XNR? whatever that. Yeah, whatever that is. Yeah, and well, we didn't know behind the scenes. You cannot make any. Uh, no, but we didn't know behind the scenes that they were renting places and spending money from fans' money, and they really yeah. abused it, and they they hid that but from he everybody. Was pocketing the money. That guy. They, there was threats that, uh, uh, rumors that he was pocketing the money. Well, he went on tech yards and he was explaining what That's he did terrible. and what he didn't do. And That's horrible. I don't believe him to tell you the truth because where's the money? That's bad. I mean, th again, th even our cast from Star Trek continues, they don't make money from that. They're putting money they're no. into it. Mm -hmm. so that's not cool. Every actor does not get one penny no, that they're doing it because they want to do it. But you know what though, they it, it it works out that way though because you know what that they're fans of the show. Yes, you know, and they don't need. Now, to. did you know that the uh, the woman that originally played yes. the Romulan commander, Some, her, her daughter, daughter? Yes. yes, her daughter. That's amazing. Playing. That was great. That's that amazing. Was she looks exact. I mean, like her mother. Yeah, she looks exactly like her mother. It's 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 uncanny, really. Mm-hmm. So, all right, we're going to get out of here for now. Maybe we'll be back right. later. Thank you, Jay. Take right. care. Bye for now.